Hello everyone, welcome to Rosebank Farm and Garden. In this video, I'm going to be doing three different projects with my favorite annual, the Supertunia Vista Bubblegum. I just love that flower. Um, I love the color and I love how it grows for me wherever I plant it. So um, my first project is going to be a repeat of last year, except I'm gonna use far less plants. And I'm actually really nervous about only using three plants because last year I think I packed five or four into these pots, but this year I'm only gonna use three, one of each kind. So let's take a look at the flowers I'm gonna be planting up in these pots. Favorite Supertunia Vista bubblegum. It is for full to part sun, and it does really well in this spot. Right now you can see that the three pots are in shade, but they get morning, and early afternoon sun and that's why I think um, this one does so well as it can be in part sun now it does spread um, it wants to be planted a minimum of 12 inches apart which I did not do last year they were jammed in there and they grow 12 to 24 inches tall and wide so that is my favorite just love that color um, the second plant we're going to be using is um, the Supertunia Lovey Dovey, and I just love the color and the stripes on those blooms. And they are also full to part sun and did really well for me. Now this last plant is a new one for me. Now last year I used Supertunia Vista Fuchsia, but this year I just love the color of, of this. Look at the variegation in that. This is called Supertunia trailing strawberry pink veined and I just think the three of these together um, are going to be really pretty in the in these flower pots. I had emptied out the soil from last year, put new soil in and put slow release fertilizer in the top and just mixed it in. You can still see a little bit of the yellow granules of the slow release fertilizer and so we're just going to plant. But one thing I want to point out was I'm trying to, since I'm only doing three and they kind of intermingle, I noticed that in the first one I put um, the Super Tuna Lovey Dovey. So I didn't want to put a Lovey Dovey here. That would be two of the same together. So I put the um, strawberry vein there, bubble gum, and Lovey Dovey. I laid out the plants. I think this is how I want them just because the Lovey Dovey is in the front of the corner pot so i have it in the back right of this pot the rose veins on that far corner so the rose vein is there and then my favorite the bubble gum front and center so let me get these planted real quick So here's a little tour of how this project turned out. And like I said, I'm a little nervous about only using three plants. But I know from experience how these supertunias perform. So they should be as big and mounding as they were last year. But just look at that. So pretty. It just makes my heart happy to see those. Let's go take a look at another project that I did with Supertunia Vista Bubblegum. This pole is the property marker between um, our property and our neighbors. My daughter, my granddaughter painted the pole white and then I came out and spray painted the Holstein spots on it. My youngest daughter is an amazing artist and she did the cow face with little ears up there. And then on the back side, I go up the hill here my oldest daughter did this <laughs> yeah so we had a painting party and everybody was out here in their lawn chairs while the painting was going on so i will put some pictures up of that to show you is um, this saucer has been on here for many years I don't even know how old it is but I couldn't the reservoir isn't very deep and I never had much much success with having plants up here 
So this year, I got this plastic pot real cheap from the dollar store. I think it was like $2. And unfortunately, I lost the footage of um, how we put it on here. But in the bottom, there are three nails that go through this plastic pot and down into the top of the wood. And there are two drain holes in the bottom. And so I filled it up with potting soil, um, added the slow-release fertilizer, and planted three um, Vista bubble gums here. Now these should um, fill this up and just mound up over the top. Here's a view from the road, what people see as they drive past. And I'm really liking it, but I thought it was missing something. So I went and bought some lemon sedum. It's not the Proven Winners brand, but close enough, I think, for the look that I want. And we're gonna plant that around the bottom in the saucer. Ball sedum and it is an annual bloom summer and fall and it likes full sun so we'll just see how it does. See, this is the problem I run into with this saucer. It's not deep enough. See the root ball? So I hate to do that. That's the only way they'll fit is if I take some of their root ball off. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to rip some of the root ball off. Okay, so I'm just going to continue the rest of the way around. I love how this project turned out. Look at how cute that is with <laughs> that green, looks like green spiky hair hanging down. I just love it. It's so cute. All right, let's go around this way. See the sedum. Hopefully that sedum performs well, but I think it's cute just hanging down like that. And then the flower pot. And, just picture that super tunia mounding up and spilling out everywhere to where you can't even see the flower pot. And then on around this way. Well, isn't it adorable? All right, we have one more project to go and it's out in the sun. We're gonna add some super tunia vista bubblegum to the rock wall by my garden. Very low rock wall outside of my vegetable garden and I just want to tuck and try um, some Super Tunia Vista bubblegum in between the rocks. Um, last year it would grow weeds and I think I'd rather have something pretty beside weeds to look at. And this is an experiment because there's not a lot of soil in this spot. I brought a bag with me to see if I need any more but this is totally an experiment and I'm really looking forward to seeing how they do here. This is where I want to put it but um, I don't know if there's enough room for the root ball, so I'm going to dig this out and we'll see if we can make it fit. There really doesn't look like there's enough room, but we're going to try. And I'm going to kind of mold and squeeze the root ball narrower and see if we can fit it in here. And squeeze it a little bit and tuck it down in there. Oh no. Okay, it's in there. 
here is a little tour of the last planting project with Supertunia Vista Bubblegum. There's my little rock wall and my stepping stones and the two Vista Bubblegums and I can't wait to see how they um, spread out and really make that wall look pretty. Um, again, there's not a whole lot of soil reservoir space for their roots to grow, so this could be a challenge, but we'll see. So here's a close-up of the one nearer to the gate, and here's the one by the steps. Now they didn't get any um, slow-release fertilizer, but they will get the Friday fertilizing schedule that all the plants will be on. So we'll see how they do.